This year's recipient of the prestigious Lieutenant Governor's Award is presented to a family who has had several generations involved in developing the tourism product for PEI, the Sark family of Lenox Island. Elder Ray Sark established a native craft business on Lenox Island in 1972 at a time when tourism was in its infancy in Western PEI. For many years, Ray's shop, North American Indian Arts and Crafts, was a major attraction drawing many people to the western part of the province. Ray had the ability to capture people's attention by sharing his stories, his sense of humor, and his enthusiasm for artists and craftspeople and their work. Ray had a keen eye for beauty, style, and an innate sense of the spirit of the artist. Established as a base for growing the tourism sector in western Prince Edward Island, Doreen Sark, Ray's sister-in-law, took over management of the craft business in 1992 upon Ray's retirement. Doreen moved to a new building overlooking Malpec Bay and endeavored to carry on Ray's tradition of quality crafts displayed in a relaxed, friendly environment. In 1996, Charlie Sark Sr. built Micmac Productions, a studio where he makes pottery and figurines based on the exploits of the Micmac hero, Blueskap. Charlie Sr also started a business to preserve the ancient art of basket weaving where he gives demonstrations and offers workshops in the craft. In response to declining visitation to the area, the entrepreneur in Doreen led her to capitalize on the growing cuisine tourism product. She opened Doe's Bannock Bakery and Wild Food Boutique which features savory, indigenous meals. By the second year of operation, the sales in both the bakery and the studio doubled. The entrepreneurship of the Sark family was passed down to Charlie Sark, Jr., who in 1998 began Micmac Kayak Adventures. Operating from the back deck of the craft shop, he gives guided, interpretive tours of the waterways around Lennox Island and Malpec Bay. While a graduate student at the University of Guelph, Charlie Jr. wrote a social economic study on Lennox Island, which recommended the development of Aboriginal ecotourism. This was the beginnings of an established 10-year Aboriginal ecotourism plan for Lennox Island. The Ecotourism Centre, the Minigo Cafe, and the Path of Our Forefathers Walking Trail are all a direct result of the dedication of the Sark family as pioneers in Aboriginal tourism on PEI. Speaking on the dedication, hard work, and creativity of the Sark family is longtime family friend and tourism entrepreneur Jeanette Arsenault. On behalf of Don and I, we'd like to congratulate you, the Sark family, on winning this very prestigious award. We're very, very happy that uh, they've chosen to recognize you for this award. And I remember many years ago meeting Ray when he had his gift shop, and it wasn't the products or what he was selling that impressed me. It was the time he took to uh, share his culture with me, to share some of his experience. And I, I really enjoyed that, and I've actually never forgotten that. So. Uh, you know, and Charlie, when you opened your, uh, your Micmac production, uh, he was there to do a sweetgrass ceremony, and that was really uh, very nice to see and understand. Au nom de toute la population canadienne de l'île, on aimerait vous féliciter. On est très content de vous parce que vous êtes des pionniers dans le tourisme, et on est vraiment, vraiment heureux de voir que vous êtes uh, reconnus ce soir comme vous l'êtes. Merci encore une fois pour tout uh, ce que vous avez fait pour le tourisme. Congratulations again on a job well done. <laughs>